Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. We are doing a budget for September 2018. So it's time. It's time to do a budget. Let's talk about me for a little while. I know a lot of people gave this video suggested to them that don't normally watch my content, so let's chat. Hi, my name is Emily. I am in my 30s. I am a single individual. I don't have kids. I love decorative planning. I use real numbers when it comes to my outgo, but I do not show income. And I like to make my budgets look real pretty. So if you're not into pretty planning, this might not be the video for you, but you might be able to get something out of it. I usually have the majority of the same bills every single month. However, the months kind of fluctuate a little bit with other things that come up in the month. So it's kind of fun to see some of the different things that happen throughout, you know, the 12 months of the year in my planner and in my life. This is a Erin Con deluxe monthly planner that I use and um, I've actually had a lot of questions recently from the people that follow me pretty regularly as to what I'm gonna be using for 2019 and the question is I don't know so we'll see we'll see but um, the monthly deluxe planners look like this so they have the month here and then um, I actually use this it's like a little note page thing. I don't know. It's adhesive and um, it's like a little sticky note. And if there's anything that's coming up in the month, I'll write it down on here. This is going to be a pretty basic month today because I don't have any like extra expenditures coming out in September at all. So I'm not too worried about that. So on the right hand side, I do use this productivity page on this side. I never use this page. People ask all the time, Emily, what do you use that page for? And I say, I don't use it for nothing. So since September for me, in my mind, like back in the day, is like a back to school kind of a thing. I thought I would use this washi, which is like pretty cute. It's got a bunch of little crayons on there and it's kind of purple up here. So I figured, well, let's, let's make it look cute, kids. Let's make it look cute. So again, I like decorative planning. It just makes it fun. And also it really kind of helps me stick to my plan and my budget. I do enjoy paper planning. I don't do any digital planning for the budget. I really feel like if I were married, I would definitely utilize the Every Dollar app from Dave Ramsey. I'm a big Dave Ramsey fan. I've been following the program for quite a while now. And if y'all are curious, I am on baby step four, five, six. So I've got a bunch of things here and I don't necessarily know what I'm gonna use yet, but. We're gonna find that out in just a moment. Actually, hold on, I need, I want like a little sticker or something, like a like an event sticker. All right, let me bust out my Coffee Break Planner stickers here. Let's see if they have, I don't know, I want like a purple sticker. Here we go, here's some purple stickers. Let's see if this will work. Okay, and I like how so these stickers are actually from Erin Condren and they have these nice ones that say budget on them so nicely. So I don't have to write it down and then I can just like center it and put it on my coffee break planner sticker. And then my life is a whole lot easier, you know? All right, so put that right there, looking cute. Okay, and then at the top, I always put my bills and Erin Condren so nicely has these little bills stickers which I like to put right about here. I'm not really concerned about color coordination today because this has like all the colors, so that's all right. So let me list out all the bills and then I'll go over them for you. down at the bottom I always like to put a little pencil and put this right here oh and I should mention if you guys have made it this far that haven't watched my videos before I do have my own business so I do run some of my expenses out of my business I have been instructed by my tax professional to do that so please don't do that 
until you talk to a tax professional. I feel like a broken record every month when I say that, but it's true. People take a lot of tax advice on the internet and you really shouldn't do that. You should talk to a tax professional about your specific situation. <laughs> so anyway, here are all of my set bills that need to be paid this month. And here we go. So my mortgage is $464.42. And yes, I live in Minnesota and if you guys wanna know why my mortgage is so low, I will link a little video up in the card for you and you can watch that and we talk all about my mortgage and all about saving and all that really fun stuff. My HOA is $158. My gas is a set bill at $55. My Culligan is a set bill at $31.85. I do rent my water softener, water heater? No, water softener, whatever that thing is. Anyway, my home was built around 2002, 2003 somewhere in there and the home has already gone through two of them um, it's a city water issue so the previous homeowner had this Culligan deal already set up and I had the choice if I wanted to buy my own water softening system or if I wanted to rent it and I just continue to rent it because it just makes more sense to me my electrical bill is gone up because it's summertime and it's been warmer outside so Last month, I think I estimated $85 and it was actually like 114, so I'm gonna estimate around $100 this month. My garbage is the same every month at 17.85. My water is always an estimate, it's like, anywhere from you know 52 to 56 dollars so I'm gonna go 55 my auto insurance is always the same at 8542 and my Netflix is always the same at 1175 so let's get this totaled up and we will write down the number all right so my total expenses is 979. 29 and then let's go in with all of the other bills or not bills but all the other expenditures that I have so fuel i normally estimate around a hundred dollars i'm gonna bump that to 200 this month and then i'm gonna like i need to do like a little bit more estimation in that category um for like tracking purposes so i think come october i'll have like a good handle on my fuel usage and then i've got grocery money whoa i missed an r this is why i don't talk and <laughs> right at the same time well whatever so I usually estimate about 250 or so. I'm gonna keep that the same at 250. And I've got my dining money. And last month I had it at $100, but I think I'm gonna bump that down to $80 this month. I don't really have anything like specific that I'm gonna be dining out for, but like for me, and this is what works for me, is my grocery money and my dining money are kind of interchangeable. So if I have a bunch of dining money at the end of the month, I can either roll that into next month or if I wanna buy some more stuff at the grocery store, like I can just, you know, interchange that. And that works for me. I don't, it doesn't always work for everybody and I totally understand that, but you know, it works for me and that's good. So um, these are things, the fuel isn't something that I take out for cash envelopes, but the grocery and the dining are. And I will have a video on an update about cash envelopes if it's not up already. It might already be up. I'm not sure. I pre-film so much stuff that I don't even remember sometimes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be up, you guys. It'll be up soon-ish. Yeah, soon-ish. That's a word, right? Okay, we're going to go with it. All right, we'll grab another pencil and we will put in the total on this one as well. So this one will be $530. All right, so... The monthly cost of my life is $1,509.29. Should probably write what month we're in, right? <laughs> I'm gonna put like a little little savings pig over here too, cause that's, just, that's cute, right? Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, that is my current budget for September 2018. If y'all have any questions, feel free to post them down below. If you don't see something in my normal budget that you normally would see, like cell phone or Wi-Fi or any other little things like that, that is all rolled into the business, like I said before. If you guys have watched some old budget videos, you would have seen that in here anyways. Um, I will link my Money Talk playlist. I think it's this way, I can't remember which way it is, um, in a little card for you guys if you want to see any of my budgeting related videos 
all my things that I talk about finances and money and the Dave Ramsey plan and my financial journey and my financial story, it's all in that playlist. So feel free to watch that if you would like. But that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any suggestions on other budget-related content or video ideas or anything like that, feel free to post them down below. I'm always very curious as to what you guys wanna see and content that I haven't already shared yet. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day. If you like the video, make Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like. Hit the little red bell notifications if you haven't done so already. YouTube is supposed to be sending you an email when I upload and I don't always do that. They also have been starting to unsubscribe people too, which is like really frustrating and I've gotten lots of messages about it. So make sure that the subscribe button, if you wanna be subscribed, is not red. If it's red, that means you're unsubscribed. So hit that if you wanna see more content from me. So anyway, I'm gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little part of your day and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.